Good morning, Cancel Ones. My name is Aaron, and I'm going to be your instructor for today. And today, since it is our first day, and we are going to be learning sail, the first thing that we have to learn are all the parts of our sailboats. Now, I'm guessing that at least a few of you have seen sailboats before and have a somewhat of knowledge on different parts of it. Does that seem yes. like a fair thing to say? Yes. Perfect. So, we're going to start by getting into a group, and we're going to go over all the various parts. And after that, I'm going to quiz you, and I'm going to see how much you guys remember. Everything good? Yeah. Perfect. Alright class, so instead of learning on an actual sailboat today, we're going to be using a miniature, because it has almost all of the same parts. So, this is going to be our sailboat. And the most notable part of any sailboat, as you can probably already see, is this right here. Anyone know what this is called, Am? The sail. It is the sail. And what does the sail do, Holland? All right, and the wind is what's going to send you forward. That's the most important part of sailing, so we all usually like to start at the sail. And then connected to the sail is the long pole that runs from the very top down into the boat. Anyone know what this is called? Mast. It is the mast, Tim. The mast is what's going to hold up your sail, and it's very important too. But in order to hold out the third corner of the sail, you need another pole that's perpendicular to the mast. This is called a boom. The reason it's called a boom is because it likes to swing across. And if you don't duck when it swings across, it will hit you with a loud boom. It will hurt. It will probably oh. hurt. It will hurt a lot. That's why we always like to duck whenever the boom is moving. Sound good? And that is all that there is up here. Moving down, anyone know what the body of the boat is called? The main wooden part that floats. The body? Good guesses, but in sailing we like to call them the hull. Doesn't sound good? Hull, like the city near Ottawa. I live in Ottawa. She has it. Alright, so this is called the hull. And, now that we're moving forward, what's the next most important thing? The rudder? Exactly, being able to turn. And that is this piece of wood in the water at the back. Holland already said it's called the rudder. And, did anyone know what this little piece of wood coming off here that we hold is called? This is called the tiller. People get the rudder and the tiller confused a lot. It's perfectly okay. The rudder is the piece that is in the water, and the tiller is the piece that's going to be in your hand. Okay? Sound good? Mm -hmm. The rudder is located at the back of the boat, but when we're speaking in sailing, we don't like to use the word back. We prefer stern, just because sailing people like to use sailing language. There's the stern, and the front of the boat is known as anyone. Exactly, and it is the bow. So, we've got stern and bow, and then left and right, people don't like to call left or right either. They have special words for these. Ow. You might have learned this a couple years ago. Any, any guesses? Holland. Oh, port and starboard. They are port and starboard. And, does anyone know the different colors? Do you see the different beads? Red and green. Yeah. Now, what color do you think port is? Port is this red. It is the red one. Typically, in, when you're on the water and you're on a boat, the colors are usually used to denote the different sides. So, the left side, or the port side, is going to be usually in red, and the green side, or the right side, is going to be sharp. Everyone understand? Alright. And then, coming off the bow is another rope. You're going to learn about a lot of ropes in sailing, so it might be difficult to keep the name straight, but try as good as you can. And this rope coming right off here is used to tow the boat. Anyone know what we might call this rope? It's okay if you don't. No. It's called the tow line. Sometimes sailors like to use language that's easy to remember, like a tow line is used to tow, and other times they like to call the right side of the boat starboard. It's just what happens. You're going to get used to it very quickly, I promise. So, now we've covered all the parts of the boat that are on this little miniature, but there are some that are not. A lot of boats that you're going to see coming off of the bottom will have another plank that shoots into the water. This is called a dagger because supposedly it's shaped like a dagger. When we go see the real boats tomorrow, you're going to see exactly what these look like. Sound good? Mm -hmm. And there are some other things that are dependent to each boat, but we'll cover those once we actually start sailing and we go over what they're used for. Everyone okay? Yeah. Does anyone have any questions at all? No. No? Sounds good. Okay class, now that we've learned all of the parts of the sailboats, it's time to review what we learned. So, 
We've got a little drawing up here with a bunch of blanks that we need to write down parts in. So I'm going to call on you over around. We'll go around in a circle. And you can name off parts and where they are. And if you want to, you can tell me what they do as well. And then you can either come up here and write it yourself, or if you don't trust your handwriting, I can write it for you. That's okay. So we're going to start at M. How many? Can I just write one? Yep, just start with one. Okay. All right. Anyone? Anyone. Very important decision to make in time here. Oh, okay. That's a no. Perfect. So, she laid out this is the bow of our boat. The bow, sometimes you can just call it the front. When you're in Cancel 1, no one's really going to mind. Timmy, want to name off any part? We can come up for just bit. Okay. Go ahead. He's got the boom down there. Alright, you guys remember the boom was the hole that's attached to the bottom edge of the sail. Sounds good. And the boom is the thing that can fly across when you're turning around the wind. and Which will hurt. Yeah, and it makes a lot of boom noise, so that's where it gets its name from. Holland, anything you want to add? Sure. Come on up and grab the mark. So this is the piece that we didn't actually go over. I think I made brief mention to it. But the dagger board is another important part of a sailboat that you're going to find on almost every sailboat that you're ever going to sail, with the possible exception of catamarans. So a dagger board is a piece that sits in the middle, and it's what stops you from going sideways. So if you're going and you're sailing and the wind's coming crossways, the wind is going to try to push you sideways. What the dagger board does is it just offers a lot of resistance against the water, and it stops that from happening. M, you want to just say off another one there? Oh, can't write it. Absolutely. <laughs> yep, the stern or the back of the boat. It's this edge if we were looking at our crossways sort of picture. You can, for today and the next few days, it's perfectly okay if you forget this word and you will just want to call it the back of the boat. That's fine. But hopefully you'll start to learn these words and we can start using them more and more often. Timmy. Just going to add an easy one here. Easy one. Go ahead. <laughs> yep. That is the sail. I'm surprised it's the sixth one that we've gotten to. So the sail is the first one we went over, and it's probably the most important part of our sailboat. Because it, remember what it does, Holland? The sail catches the wind. <laughs> yep, the sail is going to catch the wind, and it's what's going to push you forward and start moving. Holland, anything else that you want to name, you don't have to come up if you don't want to. Um, the tow rope. And where is that on our boat? The very front of the boat. Exactly. And can you tell me what the tow line does? Like if you need to go somewhere like you need yeah. to be moved, and you, there's no way that somebody yeah. can pull you. So when we get out on the water, we're going to have instructors around you who are going to be in motorized boats, and if the wind dies or you need to get anywhere very quickly, we're going to be able to tow you by this in our boats. Sound good? All right, and one more for me. Port. That one, that one is port. Do you happen to remember just a little trivia? Do you remember the color that port usually is? Red. It is red. So you're really going for the uh, different sections of the boat. It's good. It's good. And just like before, if you want to call port left, I promise I will not get mad at you. But we're going to start to use more and more of this sand language as we go along. Timmy, I think. Just going to try more. this the concept part, which is. Uh, Stub back, stub butt, stub. It's okay. Close it, enough. Sorry. Starboard. You're Star very, very close. It is Sorry. spelled. It's the accent. It's okay. It is spelled like this, I believe. Starboard. And that is uh, green. Yep, that is green. I will write that up there. It is green. Perfect. So, we have starboard, we have port, bow stern. Holland, maybe one or two more parts of the boat? The mast? 
Yep. And which one of this is the mass one? It's like the right both sides of the sail. Yeah. It is. And the mast, if you guys remember, it's just the long. It's usually, it's made of metal on the boats that we have here, but some of the older ones are still wooden. And it is just going to be holding up the sail so that it catches the wind. All right, and probably the last one. Last time around the circle. Mm, I don't remember any. That was where I <laughs> paid a lot of attention to that. That's okay. We're going to have many chances to do this. We'll review this more and more. But do you remember this part? I'll give you a hint. It's the thing that steers the boat. starts with an R. Rudder. It is the rudder. Good job, M. I can spell that properly. That is the rudder. It sits in the water, and it will steer your boat. Because steering, very important. Going forward's great, but sometimes we want to go to the left or port as well. Timmy, can you tell me the name of the piece of wood that comes off the rudder, the one that you pulled, maybe? I don't know. I'm sorry. So it's all right, Colin, do you remember this one? The tiller? It is the tiller. All right, our drawing is starting to look a little bit more filled up. I think we just have one more. Timmy, do you remember what the name of the whole boat was called? It started with an H. Hole, hole, hole. Hopefully we don't have any holes in it, but you are right. It is the hull. <laughs> There's my one little piece of sailing humor for the day. And I think that is everything filled out. Awesome. You guys had fun on your first day? Yes. Yeah. Tomorrow we'll get into some actual boats. Class dismissed.